Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Dark Fall by Dean Kuntz. Yeah, uh, I really enjoy this book. Um, I, I will be completely honest with you. Up front, I have to preface this. I didn't care too much for this read-through, but that's not because this book isn't great. Uh, this is one of my favorite Dean Koontz books, and it remains one of my favorite Dean Koontz books. But I remember this book note for note for note, and rereading it this time, I think it's the third time I've read it, was boring, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, there are so many great scenes in here that I just, I, I knew. Um, and I hate it that I went back and I, I reread it. It's been years since I read it. I didn't think I'd remember that much about it. But I did remember that much. So if I sound like I'm dogging on this book, please do not feel, please do not take me that way. Because I truly and honestly recommend this book. I love this book. It's a lot of fun to read. But I was bored because I've read it three times and I remember so much about it. I want to say that I remember this being my first Dean Koontz book. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. But it, it, it might have been. Um, another thing is, this wasn't originally a Dean Koontz book. This was one of his Owen West books. And he, uh, he says in here, which is, which is kind of funny, he says, uh, I owe special thanks to Mr. Owen West for giving me the opportunity to publish this variation on a theme under my byline. Uh, of course, Dean Koontz is Owen West. Some other Owen West books uh, are the absolutely terrible The Fun House and the absolutely garbage The Mask, or just Mask, I can't remember. I've hated every single one of the Owen West books that I've read so far other than this one. Um, I remember loving Fun House the first time I read it, and nowadays I can't stand it. I can't even finish the book. Uh, me and uh, Dilly were going through and doing our rereads. I couldn't even finish it. Uh, this one, I, I finished it, even though I was bored, I finished it. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, slight spoilers uh, coming up for the monsters in the book. So if you don't want to, if I will try to put a link, uh, not a link, but a time code down there in the description to let you guys know where you can click to to get past this area. So, spoiler, slight, I'm not spoiling anything for the story, slight spoilers for the monsters in 3, 2, 1, so, the monsters in this book, I, I seem to recall them being demonic rats. They weren't demonic rats. They are, uh, what's called in the book, they're goblins. Um, voodoo goblins in here. Um, that was one thing that I, I did find a little silly. Uh, that and the end of the book with the whole, um, you know, voodoo is just a, a mixture of all religions, so they were able to use holy water to defeat it, that kind of thing. I, that was kind of silly. Um, but it's still so much fun to get through this book. There's so many legitimately creepy scenes um, that that make me that, that make me want to say that it's it's still one of my favorite Dean Koontz books. Um, there's several scenes. There's one in a bathroom that really creeped me out. Um, there the murders are especially brutal. Dean Koontz has really gotten away from the brutality uh, that he was. So, not known for, but the brutality of his earlier books just aren't a, isn't around anymore. He really glosses over uh, things that he used to go into more detail about. And as a gore hound myself, someone who likes that kind of thing, it has gotten to the point where, you know, I, I don't care. He, he's been more flowery with his language. He's been more techno-thriller kind of deal or whatever it may be. He's gotten rid of all the stuff that I grew up, the th all the stuff that I loved about him. He, he doesn't do anymore. It, it's more about cardboard characters and the same old predicaments over and over and over again. And it's just gotten old. But with this book, this book's a hell of a lot of fun. If you are new to the Dean Koontz world and you want to see what he's capable of, um, as far as fun books, um, I would definitely go with this one. Uh, this theme uh, it has been reused quite often in his back catalog. I would say this book is a lot like TikTok. It is a lot like, um, let's see here, what is it? Uh, Dragon Tears. It is a lot like those books. It does have a supernatural quality to it. I love that. But nowadays, even in the Odd Thomas books, he tries to give a real world excuse for some of these things. And sometimes, you know, it's much scarier if you 
you know, if you leave that stuff a mystery. But maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys disagree with me? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Um, next month, we're do me and Dealey are doing uh, a door to December, the door to December. I can't remember which one it is, but uh, that's what's coming up next. That'll be next month. We're doing one Dean Koontz book a month from here on out. Um, but anyways, uh, did you guys like this book? If you did, let me know why. If you guys didn't like this book, let me know that also down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Dean Coons book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!